Okay, we're rolling. So today is uh, March 29, 2021. It is a Monday. Uh, there's our time. It's 5.07 in the afternoon. All right. So uh, you guys may have already seen my unboxing of the uh, SEC Flamingo Bracket. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to install it. But uh, before we do that, let me... Uh, show you uh the uh development of my maxine so right now we're wor working on a tight space um so let me show you quickly what i have uh here so here is the uh fender extender that i have already installed myself this is also an sec brand uh, what i did is i put an adhesive over here silicone and then drilled it and then installed it myself Next to that is, of course, uh, the uh, rear tire hugger right there. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah, there, there's the tire hugger. I also installed that myself. So, and of course, next to the uh, addition would be the uh, the al uh, aluminum footbo uh, footboards right here. All right just the uh, necessities not much of a uh, burloloy and then after that I guess what I did was oh yeah the next uh, addition was uh, the uh, mini driving light let me show you over here there's my night ripper right that's my mini driving light see and then here's the uh, three-way switch by Domino and then I think next to this would be my rear suspension over here uh, this is an RCB or Racing Boy full adjust uh, racing suspension okay you can adjust the compression over here I don't know if you can see that there's the compression and over here is where you adjust the uh, rebound all right you guys see that so that's where you adjust the rebound and here's the spring preload okay it's fully adjustable I like it it looks neat it's clean it's just plain black I don't like those uh, too much colorific <laughs> stuff so the next was oh yeah I also uh, installed this uh, Moto Wolf version 3 cell phone holder all right which is the side mirror mount type because they have the side mirror and they also have the clamp type but I'm using the uh, side mirror uh, assembly and yeah that's me right there and just so you know I already have my plate number but I also installed this uh, I don't know if you guys can see that uh, there we go here is uh, a stainless steel uh, back plate to uh, you know protect my plate number and then on top of it would be an acrylic I plan to change it because it's pretty thin I don't know if you guys can see that the acrylic is pretty uh, thin so it flaps see that it's it flaps I might change that uh, what else do we uh, have oh yeah inside I was able to uh, uh, put in my uh, under seat uh, organizer it is also an SEC brand here I can put my documents or you know paper bills or whatever yeah so uh, that's the uh, update on Maxine as you guys uh, probably know Maxine is my Yamaha N Max version 2 that's the name I gave her all right so there so right now we're here because we're gonna install the uh, SEC uh, bracket uh, the flamingo model so what we need to do is so here's the impact uh, wrench that we're gonna use by Makita we're gonna use a size 12 socket uh, I don't know if you guys can see that 
This is a flyman socket, so there that's a size 12. So let me just put my phone real quick. I'm obviously doing this by myself. I have no assistance. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're gonna open pop the uh, compartment so here you will find four bolts these are size 12 bol uh, bolts all right so we need to remove that okay here we go there's one there's two uh -huh. there's three and there's four so, let me uh, put this here, let's take this thing off, so one, two, oh the washers come off, three, four, okay, we need to take the washers as well, so, wait, I don't know where to put them. So I guess I need to take off the washer from here. Sorry if, if you didn't see that. Uh, it's not easy navigating with one hand on the... <laughs> uh, I only have two hands, sorry. So there. Uh, let's take off this one right here. Take the washer out. Uh, it's kind of stuck right there. There we go. Okay, now we're just gonna remove this thing here. Okay, you guys see that? So then we're gonna put this here on the side for the meantime. Now let me put you on pause while I do something real quick, alright? Okay, so here we are. Uh, I just hand tidied the uh, bolts. So they're just hand tight. Uh, we're gonna get the tool. The thing is, I didn't remove the grommets over here, so I'm not really sure if I should if I should remove that and put it over there. Uh, I'm not really sure. Hold on, let me check real quick. Uh, maybe I should or what? Let me just remove one real quick. I think there's no need because I just think so <laughs> well we'll find out in a bit so this is not easy uh, again I only have two hands so I'm holding the cell phone while I'm operating at the same time okay so let me go ahead and tighten this thing here slowly okay looks good next good next okay looks like it's working okay it's gonna bend over there you see that yeah, it just did. This one here. This one right here. Next. Okay. Alright. Now let's see. It actually looks good. You guys think it looks good? Now the only thing missing is the box that we're gonna put in here. Now don't worry, be patient. We'll have a box over here in no time. Okay, so uh, that's it for now for the uh, quick unboxing of some sort. There's the stock uh, grab bar. And right now here's the new one, okay? Okay, so again guys, uh, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to uh, like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification uh, bell so you'll be uh, notified in case I have new uploads. Again, thank you for watching my video. 
stay safe, all right? Peace.